Uh, why are you uh, out here today protesting against the racist logo of Chief Wahoo? It's been a long battle against this outdated little red Sambo we have here. I think it's one of the last bastions for this type of ridiculous situation in, in this country. It, it gives a credence to all sorts of racist stereotypes, that it's okay to have that in our culture. It's, it's all about trying to reconstruct what's okay, I suppose. Uh, what do you think uh, the city of Cleveland, the people of Cleveland, is going to get it? And we're heading towards the 21st century. And uh, what do you think we're going to have to do? I think we're going to have to take it to an international community and uh, show Cleveland uh, how backward, like Mayberry, like Cleveland is. What do you think? I don't know if we're going to be able to shame them into it. I think it might have to come to a, a decision on another level, for sure. It, it shouldn't. It, it's, a, it's a decision for the whole nation involved. The victims have to decide this in a very uh, dynamic way, a more dynamic way, a unified way. All across the country, it's the same situation. It's not an isolated incident. I think that it could be confronted in a unified way. Well, I, I want to thank you uh, for being out here today, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Chief Wahoo logo, brother. I don't. I don't have a Wahoo logo on. Yeah, you got to see. What do you have to see? Is there a, a reason? What? Uh, I got it for my birthday. Yeah, I heard a lot of people are going just to the sea, you know, uh, and getting rid of the logo. I don't, I don't think it's that big a deal, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I think it's a tribute. Right. Like you're being honored in some way. People, you get 45,000 people cheering, Indians, 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 which is not too bad. I don't well, this think. man is a real, real uh, first person right here. Uh, you know, he's not all right with it. What do you think about it, uh, you know, making... I don't like that. Yeah. It looks like... Next year's mascot right here. Next year. Are they going to do that? Are they going to change it to that one? Oh, you're talking they are. The Caucasians. I don't know. I like that one. He's got a bat in his hat. Oh, you're talking Cleveland Hockey. All right. Have a good day, Jeff. Cleveland Hockey's board on your mascot. Mascot next year. Cleveland Hockey's. So, uh, so I wrote a book in 1997 called Cleveland Stadium, the last chapter, and in doing the research about um, the history of the Browns and the Indians and, and uh, the tenants at Cleveland Stadium, I did quite a bit of research on where the Indians got their name, and, and so ever since I've done that research, I realized how much the Cleveland Indians organization had been lying for decades about 
you know, making up the the uh, story about the, the essay that supposedly won that uh, convinced people to name the Indians uh, for Lewis Sock Alexis in honor of Lewis Sock Alexis. Well, if anyone has done their research on that, it's just it's not it's not true. It's not accurate. Um, so, you know, so many people say it was done to honor um, Indians, and of course it's not. And, and so I, ever since I've done that, 1997, I've been boycotting uh, the Cleveland Indians organization. I am a teacher at Beechwood High School. I encourage other kids to think twice about it um, and uh, perhaps uh, think about spending their money in an organization that doesn't seem to care much about um, what they've done to um, to Indians. Uh, recently, I went to the Western Reserve Historical Society, and their main lobby had the big Chief Wahoo from the whole Cleveland Stadium. And I interviewed him. I go, you know, why don't you have the original people there here that lived here before Moses Cleveland? What do you think about that, sir? Well, I think it's good that they have that there, and I think that it's good that they, they encourage conversation. Um, you know, where you can sign in and, and and write your opinions about it. So I think it's worthwhile. Um, you know, I, I understand it's part of you know Cleveland's cultural history. So I understand that, but um, you know, it encourages conversation. I'm a teacher, and I need the conversation. Unless the conversation happens, the attitudes don't. The attitudes don't change. So I mean, I, I you know, one of the things I, the way I would do it, I don't shout at people because I don't think they're right. shouting at people. They just shout back, and there's no mind changing. But getting people to think about it to me is important. So. All right.